In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to remove a fence in Affinity Photo. So let's get started. So to start removing the fence, we first have to create a new layer. So let's go over here and create a new layer. Now we want to pick the brush. So we can go here and click the brush in the toolbox or we can just simply press this keyboard shortcut B. So let's hit B. And now we want to zoom in a little bit. So press command equal sign or command plus, hold space bar and drag to the top of our image. As you can see, our brush is pretty wide right now. So we decrease the brush size by using the left bracket key. And then we just simply click, go down, hold shift and click once again. So as you can see, our brush made a straight line. We basically want to cover the whole fence. So what I'm doing now is I just hold shift and I'm clicking on the metal bars of the fence to cover them up with a black stripe or black brush stroke. So let's go all the way to the right. So we want to do this for the whole fence. Let's go back to our start and also for these little parts. So we just want to brush over the little areas let's say the little knot on the fence as well to cover everything up and make sure to take your time on this process So I think you get the point. I will speed up the video from here. So as you can see down here, the bars, the metal bars of the fence get a little bigger. Let's increase the brush size a little bit by using the right bracket key. Let's say one size and then we continue to work. As you can see, I can just click somewhere right over here and then hold the space bar to drag and move around. Let's say move up a little bit. And then when I hold shift once again, so I released shift before, now hold shift once again and then click. You can still see that Affinity Photo memorized that I clicked somewhere and that I won't continue the straight line. Here in the corner, you see this little this this metal thing i'm not sure what it's called actually and we don't want to include this in our image so we also want to make sure that we cover this thing let's continue now we come close to the mouth again and it's going to be more detailed so i want to decrease the brush stroke or the brush a little bit that I don't mess too much with the pixels around our selection or around our brush strokes, which we're gonna convert later into our selection. But still make sure to cover everything of the fence because otherwise you will have a lot of work to do afterwards. As you can see here, this little part of the bar wouldn't be included in our selection later on. So let's select everything so we don't have too much work to do afterwards. And don't worry if you forget a little bit, we can correct this later and I will show you how. So again, now we approach the eye, here's more detail, so let's decrease the brush size a little bit by using the left bracket key and carefully brush over it and as you can see we can probably see some leftovers of the metal bar over here and over here later but we'll see that soon so now we've covered everything so let's name this brushed fence 
And now we want to create a duplicate of our original background layer to work non-destructive. So we press Command J with our background layer selected to create a duplicate. And what we want to do now is we want to make a selection of our brush strokes. And we do that by holding Command and clicking the thumbnail of the brushed fence layer. And now you can see that it's a selection. Uh, you can see the marching ends. And now we can disable this layer. So we view the original layer. And what we want to do now is we want to fill this with the in painting fill. So we can go to edit fill and select in painting, or we can use the keyboard shortcut shift backspace and click on in painting and then apply. So let's do that now. So this took a minute or two. Um, it can take longer or shorter depending on the speed of your laptop or the size of the image actually. If the size of the image is larger then it will take longer for Affinity Photo to fill in the selection. So let's hit Command D to deselect and as you can see almost all of the fence is gone. Obviously we have shadows left and you can see over here and over here near the eye where I missed some parts and here near the, near the nose where is some weird line going on but we can fix that and we'll actually do that right now so let's create let's rename this one to no fence no fence and let's create a new layer to work on and this we're gonna name correction one because we're going to create multiple corrections actually. So let's first correct these metal bars of the fence. And we can do that by using the healing brush tool. And what we have to do now is we have to sample some pixel or some point. So we have to hold alt and sample. And if we would brush over this part right now, it would already work because it already says current layer and below. Usually it says current layer, so make sure to go to this drop down menu first if you create if you work on a new layer and click current layer and below. And now we want to sample somewhere and brush over the leftovers of the fence. And here as well, you can see some weird line going on here. And I actually just sample a lot. So now I sample from this area and I brush over here. And now I sample from here and I brush over this area. So you get actually get you actually get better results when you use more samples in your correction process. Otherwise it will look like it's cloned or copied. And near the eye we want to be careful because it's a detailed area. So here you see some leftovers. So I sample this area, decrease the brush size a little bit and just simply brush over it. Sample a new area and brush over it. Sample an area here. And I think that's pretty good already. Let's try to fix this area a little bit better. All right, that was the first correction. And it looks a lot better already after correction number one. Let's see if there's more to correct over here. It's a little bit of fence left of original fence. So let's sample here and brush over this area. So simply just scan the whole image for mistakes or areas where you can still see the fence somewhere, somehow. And that's a sign that we didn't make a perfect selection. As you can see here, you see a line going, here you see a line going. So just correct these areas with a healing brush tool or with another healing tool, doesn't really matter. Here's some weird black line, and that's the last one that we want to, that I'm gonna correct in correction one. 
All right, let's move on. So that was correction number one. This is the before and this is the after. So as you can see, it already looks a lot better. And now we want to remove the, the rest of the shadows. So let's create a new layer. And that's going to be correction number two, obviously. And we can try to use another tool maybe. So let's go to the patch tool just to show you another tool. And we make a quick selection around one of the bars. Make sure the selection is destination. Set it to current layer and below. And try to find a part that would fit in, kind of. Let's say this one. All right. So let's go to the next part. And fill it in with this. Let's go to the next area. Maybe this really one long thing here. And to use the patch tool, like now it's not confirmed yet. It will be confirmed when I make another patch. And now you can see that it is confirmed. So here it looks kind of weird, this area. Let's move over to another area, click, and then make another patch. Kind of looks blurry, which I don't really want. So let's undo that. And just use the clone stem tool. Set it to current layer and below, obviously. All right. That looks pretty okay. And let's cover the rest of the face. Now I'm going to use this healing brush tool and I'm just going to sample hair and brush over the fence. This is kind of easier. So let's do this for every single shadow, let's say. And it's really cool how Affinity Photo actually magically removes these lines so easily, just with one brush stroke sometimes, and it's gone. So closer to the eye, again, we have to be more careful. So let's decrease the brush size a little bit and use more sample points. So like so in the eye, we have to be really careful. Okay, that looks good. I guess you can still see it a little bit. So let's get rid of that as well. So, face is almost done. And when sampling, try to sample this around the same color or the same stroke or the same area that you want to correct. So, this stroke, let's say, I would take a stroke that's pretty close to it and then just brush over it. Let's go to the other side. So after we're done, we can check our correction layer. So what we've done actually. So this is the before and this is the after. So as you can see with actually three corrections, we removed, let's say correction number one, correction number two and correction number three. We completely vanished the fence. Um, as you can see, it's easier to work in blurred areas than in areas on focus because they are more detailed. So you have to be more careful. So I would recommend working with a smaller brush size. But yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next one. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to remove a fence in Affinity Photo. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't done it yet, make sure to check out my mini course, The Secrets to Pixel Perfect Selections. It's a mini course on how to select and mask out anything in Affinity Photo.
You can see the course curriculum. You can see some testimonials on my website. And you can read something about me. And as you can see right over here, there's already 122 students who took the course, which is really amazing. So thanks for that. So if you haven't done it yet, make sure to check out this course. There will be a link in the description of this video. So if you are an Affinity Photo user, I definitely recommend you checking that out. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. If you like my content, feel very free to subscribe. I'll be covering tons of manipulation tips and tricks in Affinity Photo. Stay home and stay healthy.